Oh, hello! It's been a while. What is going on, guys? FMU here, up in your face. Just wanted to do a quick tutorial today showing you how to make kits using Photoshop. I've done one set, which is the one you paid for. It's like $15.99 and you got like a template. It's a much nicer looking kit, but you can do it for free. There are templates to download for free, which is just the normal shirts. So today I'm just going to show you how to do that in a second. So we'll have a look at that. My voice is a little bit funny, a little bit sort of fluey, nasally or whatever. That's because basically I'm, I'm dying of hay fever. So feel sorry for me. Please feel to donate to save my life from hay fever it's a cause that affects many of us and it is driving me freaking insane so anyway let's get on with this video and show you how to make these kits using photoshop okay so to start off with it's really really simple uh, there's a link down below you can come on here you can download these kits from uh, fm view just download each one of these they are you know there's quite a few but download them all it is well well worth it and it gives you a lot of options there are older ones i'm not sure if they're a bit further down in the chat or not but um you can find them uh, they're not immediately there i don't think but yeah just have a little look through guys okay then so once you've got them downloaded and extracted you'll need like i say jzip to extract them uh, pop them in a folder i actually have mine in, in my graphics uh, a separate folder called graphics and kit templates so they're all in there uh, save them off to there and then you know you'll know where they are they're easily accessible we're going to do fbt as the kits uh you'll see here look the ps file the psd has fbt 1 to 29 so that is all of these kits so it has all 1 to 29 you'll notice that with the bigger kit manufacturers with more kits there will be more like there'll be 1 to 29 then 30 to i don't know 52 or something like that you know along those lines so find a kit that you like from the pictures and go with it you know just sort of if you like say number 25 go with the psd that's 1 to 29 because number 25 is in there once you open it up you see down here at the side there are all the kits so 1 to 29 first thing what i do is is change the base color so you're going to shape click on the little thing and then color overlay now i want to do this black because we're going to be doing a kit for Jamaica. So we're going to go black there, sort of black and the orangey yellowy kind of colours. Um, one thing is I suffer from colour blindness, so sometimes kits can be a nightmare for me. And then I want to do number three. So you'll see you highlight number three and it pops up with all the, all the bits and bobs. So we're going to work with the collar first. And if you're unsure what things are, just you know click the eyeball to close them and open them you know they'll they'll disappear when you switch the eyeball off and you'll know what bits have disappeared it just makes it easy um rather than trying to remember what each bit is i've already got my yellowy orangey type color um yellowy orangey what am i talking about i know what i mean um selected so i know what i want i copy and pasted it before i came into this because i kind of found a color that i liked uh, but you can play around with it as and when you want we're going to make those little bits there that were underneath the collo, collar, collo, collar, collar, um, this is going well isn't it, uh, black and then we're just going to go through like I say and just work on pieces and just see what bits we like, what bits we don't um, and change bits on and off. This is the really dark blue bit here, you could change the colour but for our kit we're actually going to take it away so you just click the eyeball it's gone, that just gets rid of it, you don't have to delete it, you can just you know hide it and then this will be the back of the collar if i guess right i'd imagine there we go it is the back of the collar easy as peas why do people say easy as peas i mean are they are they easy well i suppose they're easy to make anyway we're getting off we're getting off ignore me uh, and then this will be the inside of the collar we could make it black uh, but then it would disappear and it, you wouldn't be able to see the front of the shirt. So we're going to make it the the sort of orangey colour that we're going to go with. And then we can just close those down, just, you know, minimalise that folder. Then onto the logo. There's only one logo on this shirt, as you can see. Uh, but there can be on Adidas shirts. There can be three or four sometimes. They, they seem to love their logos on Adidas and Nike shirts and stuff. Um, and we're going to come in and we're going to make this the orange as well. I, I could make it white, but I don't think that would really suit it that brilliantly so i want to move this up a little bit it doesn't feel right where it is it's sort of smack bang in the middle of the shirt it feels a little bit weird so you can just use the up and down keys to move it up and down and stuff or of course if you really want to you want to move the position of it completely you can use your mouse 
you hold shift it kind of keeps it in the same line it keep, moves it in a straighter line uh, but we just we don't want to do that so like I just did their control and Z just to come back just to cancel what I'd done and we just move it up a little bit like I say and that's the logos done we'll leave that open though because we'll want to put probably put the Jamaican logo in there as well um, this is going to be that little trim bit there that I just showed you very simple again it is a lot of repetitive going in and changing colors on things um i've changed that obviously to black this one will now change to the orange this will be on the opposite arm so opposites and all that it's always good to mix it up a little bit try and get a bit of color you know differentiation so we've got the little orange there and one cuff and black on the other and the black will show up a little bit better once we start doing this stuff um as you'll see on that one i had to double click on it because there was no drop down option so just double click on it to get the you know color overlay going pop your overlay on uh same with that one and uh where's it gone? i lost it for a second there and then just bang in the color zippity bop there we go bish bash bosh done so the kit that i've done like it's not the, it's not the best kit in the world it's just one that had a few different things on so i could show you you know kind of certain things you need to change and do so next i want to get the logo for the jamaican national team there it is there, all beauty all i've done is just put jamaican logo png and then it's the first one that came up normally with any club in any country it's the first thing that comes up is a proper png logo some some are a little bit more difficult to find than others maybe obscure teams and stuff but it's pretty simple then just click left and hold drag it and drop it now don't worry that it's fallen behind a couple of layers on the kit that's easily rectifiable then hold uh, shift and go into the corner and that you know just resize it keep holding shift and it'll keep everything in proportion uh, and it's just a case of playing around with it and getting it to what you feel looks right you can just do that just to see what it looks like we'll move this layer just hold left click and drag it up a couple of layers so it's above the lines there you can see now that these stripes have dropped behind it move it around a bit it could perhaps do being a little bit smaller so control and t and then hold shift just to resize it a little bit and that should be good i quite like that just move it down a little bit using the keys and that's that that is it the, the shirt is made it is that simple it's very easy to do very easy to do now on the last tutorial you would have seen me using the pen tool and stuff so we'll do that now so create a new layer go to the pen tool and we're gonna add like a, a little swoop on the black arm so we'll click there just maybe there i think and then click up there and then you you hold the left click down to while you reshape and just come over and click and then click and hold the left click down again and just reshape until you get a nice little bit of a shape that you like okay um right click in the middle and then just mark selection and then just make sure you've got that new layer selected you don't want to go over any other layers and then we're just going to bucket fill that little bit of selection there and then i'm going to move it around a little bit because it's not in the exact position i want it to be or the you know the right angle so Control and t will bring up this box and we'll move it down a little bit and then you'll see how the angle has changed there you can kind of move it around and stuff now i'm just going to use the key control and d to take the selection off so it's not got the lines around it i'm going to use the keys the up and down and left and right keys uh just to move it around a little bit just to get it into the right position okay then ensure your new layer is still selected scroll down open base and then we're going to hold control you see a little box comes up there and then again there and then just click on that layer and it will highlight the shirt and then just click here add layer you know layer path i think it is and there you go it cuts out anything else that isn't on the shirt so you've now got the little swoop on the arm it's very simple to do just practice a little bit guys just don't save over the one you've got don't do that it would be a disaster then we need to save it so we don't want to save over like i say we don't want to save over anything go to your um sports interactive folder if you've got two it's always the first one so it's that one there and then football manager 
and graphics now this is where it helps if you've already got kits downloaded i do i have a lot if you don't just download some simple as that there's tutorials out there how to do it i've got my own little kit folder uh, make sure you save it as a png this is for my kits i add to the game as i go along so it doesn't uh, interfere with any other folders and then we're just going to call it jamaica underscore h for home um and then we'll save that as a PNG. Like I say, just always make sure it's the PNG file that you save it as. Okay, so that is now saving away. There we go. And then close this down. And remember, do not save over it because you'll it'll, you'll lose the template. It'll just be that Jamaican shirt forever. So that's that done. Next up, open up your Football Manager game. You'll see here we're on Jamaica. And then you need to go to your Preferences. And head over to uh, interface and just select there, show, you know, the IDs in the, you know, on the title bar, basically. And what that'll do is it'll bring up all player, staff, club, league, every single ID on the game will show up next to the person, the club, the nation. And you'll see here, you'll notice it there, look, it's just come up underneath where it's got Jamaica, it's got the qualification group and stuff, and then it's got ID 377. So there we are, 377. That is Jamaica's ID. Just go to your club page or your nation page, and it will be on there uh, if you're looking for club, obviously. Uh, where's my... Where's my Sports Interactive folder? has gone there they are. Uh, like I say, it's always the first one. Double-click in, and then go to your graphics. Where's that gone? Where's it gone? There it is. Alphabetical order, Pablo. Come on, son. Get your head in the game, boy. And then, like I said, I've got my own little folder. What I did for the config file was I just copied one out of a file I'd already downloaded and pasted it in there and then edited it. So, so left-click once to highlight it, then right-click, open with notepad. Okay, then find a line. I'm just going to use a home one because it's for the home kit. So select the whole line, Control and C for copy. And then just enter a line in, tab across, and control V to paste. And then just change the team number, 377, which is the ID number. And then we add Jamaica underscore H. So just take out the word crew uh, or whatever team it is you're replacing. And Jamaica underscore H. And then if it was the away kit, you could just copy a line with away in it. And uh, just do it exactly the same. And that's that. That is as easy as that to do. And then we just need to go back into the game, go back to interface. Yeah, it does come through. Sorry, my screen went a bit funny there. Uh, then just unselect show IDs and click clear cache to start off with, and then go back into preferences. It automatically takes you out now when you clear cache, which is annoying. And then just click confirm. You can do reload skin, but just do confirm. Just pretty much exactly the same thing. And what that will do, my little pickles, is that will reload everything up and it will include the kit in the game. And there you have it. Baba! It is in the game. Beautiful looking. How delightful. We still haven't got the away kit, but we can do that anytime, any place. So that's that. It's very, very simple. I think you will agree. Um Watch this a couple of times if you need to. Uh, have a play around, have a practice, try some things out, see how you feel with it. Um, but it is very, very simple and very pretty easy to do, all in all. Even if you're not, like, really shit hot on Photoshop. So there you have it. Easy as peas. Like I said in the video, why do people say easy as pea? It, it's just one of those things that I don't quite get. We'll talk about that another time anyway. But that is that. So we've had the... You know, the snazzy pay for kit tutorial, which was a while ago, but it's going to be in the same playlist as this. Uh, we've now had the free to download kit tutorial 2D. Next uh, episode in this little mini series of tutorials, we are going to be doing 3D match engine kits, uh, which are just as simple. I'll show you where to get the download, you know, download the uh, template and stuff and just show you how to do them. They're really easy. So uh, you can add the kits into the game as you wish you know sometimes people design their own little kits in 2d and they're proper happy with it uh, but then they're just like yeah but it doesn't show up in 3d it doesn't look the same in 3d well it will when i'm finished with you so remember guys if you found this helpful hit a like button if you haven't 
don't or hit the don't dislike button i really don't care um about that sort of shit but uh yeah also let me know in the comments down below if this has helped you out i hope it has for now this is goodbye i know it's hard and i know it's difficult but don't worry we'll meet again i don't know where i don't know when what well, i do it's gonna be in the next tutorial for the 3d kits but anyway go away go on enjoy your life go go bye bye what a prat